and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. How much bread or Bob? Club. I know it is. Wow. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schroff, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about five stretches, Brad, you should do before walking. Mm. Plus, we're doing a giveaway. And it all fits together. And it fits together, yes. right? It ties together. Uh, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, yes, you want to join us on our social media channels and our our our, our website, bobandbrad.com, because we do have a giveaway section. We're always giving something away. Yep. And uh, uh, you can also go to Bob and Brad on Facebook, the Facebook, because it's pinned to the top of the page. We are giving away, Brad... Incline boards. What are they called? The Pro Slant. The Pro Slant. It's right on there. I was showing it to you. Uh, I just call these in general incline boards, but they're great for stretching your calves. Yeah, these are by OPTP. Yeah, um, they I, are and nice. I have to be honest, they, they used to have a product years ago. I didn't like it, yeah. that foam. But this is nice, solid foam. Yeah. And it comes like this, so you get two of them. My wife actually keeps one of these below her desk, her stand-up desk. Sure. And she just stretches her calves while she's doing Doing that, oh, you know, doing double yeah. duty. So. Yep. It's, uh, what do you call that when you do two things at once? You do two things at Multitask. Multitask. Yeah. Our brains stop for a yep. minute there. So, all right. So, and actually, when talking about stretches, really one of the most important stretches you should do before you walk, because a lot of the forces are on the calf right. muscle. Right, right. So, I'm going to recommend that you should do a calf stretch. Uh, Brad, you're going to do this one, right? Oh, I absolutely. Yeah, Let's right. do it. Let's so, uh, get ready. Um, if you don't have a pro slant board, you can do it on, on the edge of a stairs. Right. Oh, um, right. And Brad will show you also how you can just lean against the wall. Yeah, but, there's uh, a lot of options. The, this is my favorite, personally. Right. It's right. Right. most comfortable. Uh, can you see that, Liz? So, so you get on there and... And simply, and you can do both feet at the same time. You may need something to hold on to. I find one foot at a time works a lot better because I can relax that calf muscle. And you may want to bend the knee, get the soleus, keep it straight, come forward, get that gastroc a little more, two different muscles in the calf. So I, it is important to do it both straight and bent, I believe, especially yeah. if you're a runner. Right. Because right? you, you want to get that posterior tibialis. And, you know, um, you can probably spend 15 to 30 seconds per foot on there would be a good, uh, you know, good place to start. Yep. And this one, actually, if you wanted to give it a super stretch, you could yeah. do that, couldn't you? Yep. And there are people that will have enough. Like, I prefer this, actually, because this gives me a, a. Yeah, you've got enough range for right. that. Right. Yep. And so it varies from person to person. So I, I like this option. I don't have to work so hard either. Right. All right. The next one. Uh, because we are a sitting society, yes. uh, your hip flexors have generally tightened up on you. Sure. And if your hip flexors tighten up on you, what's going to happen? It's going to nah. pull you over, yep. and you're going to walk like an old man or old woman. And you don't want to do that, right, Brad? Absolutely not. All right. I'm glad you agree with me. So you're going to be walking like this. So we want to get this stretched out. Sure. And everybody should do this stretch, and you definitely for the people who walk. So I'm just going to throw a pillow down. Yeah, just to Bob, you put our names on the floor. Just to protect my old knees. Oh. There you go. There we go. Better. Makes me feel better. All right. So all you're going to do is I'm stretching this muscle right here. Why don't you show them with the other way? The other way? I knew you were going to make me do that. Well, you know, then they can see it better. So, all right. So I, and, and you can tell I do this stretch because I've got a lot of range. Yeah, don't I, Brad? he's pretty, he's pretty flexible. Look at that. So yep. up tall with, from the yeah. hip to the shoulder, vertical. And then you can see that's the line of his femur. So he's got a, a pretty good angle there. And that's all in that hip flexor. You know, you, you get a little bit of lower abdominal muscles. I, I Sure you do. Yeah. I, and um, if you want to add a little twist to it, you can put the ah, foot out a little bit. And that'll yeah. stretch it a little bit more. So it's his left foot. And his left foot went out to the left, and yeah. that rotates the femur, uh, the, yeah, the femur, femur yep. which stretches that. And I'll do this, or it'd be the same way. I could turn it out there a little you bit go. and reach forward. So oh, it feels good to stretch that Someday muscle. we're going to have that camera in the ceiling that'll really get That's that. That's right. Okay, hamstring stretch, Brad. There you go. So we stretched our calves for 30 seconds each. Then we did that for about 30 seconds each side. And the hammies... These are great, um, not only uh, just a general all, overall stretch, because the hamstrings attach up into the pelvis, and if they're tight, you're gonna, it's going to affect your back. Right. It, it yeah. could actually flatten your back, which you don't want to, you want to have your back in a neutral position. So Brad's going to first show you how you can use a stretch, stretch out strap. These are nice because they have loops 
where you can put your hands in and uh, it's just a comfortable way of doing it. Brad, you actually just go ahead and go up to a, what do you use? What I, I, I use, uh, there's a, a shelf outside my house. That fits it's right. It's about this height. And I go like this, I keep, let's do it this way, I keep this knee, not bent, but perfectly straight, good posture on my back. And I just lean forward and listen to the birds sing and relax that muscle, stretch that old hammy out. So it's funny, I, I lay down by our steps and the railings of the steps are on the sides. Yeah. So I just, I lay down and I just put, put one leg going down the stairs and one leg up on yeah. the, on the, and I could just, like you said, it's just a relaxing, yeah. I move a little bit closer sure. and just, I kind of almost get into a meditative state. Do you fall asleep ever? No, I don't fall asleep because I just woke up. And, and, you know, we have a whole video on good hamstring stretches. Uh, there's about four or five options that are they're all are good. So pick your choose. All pick right, the choose. same. Pick your choice. Pick yeah, your that's poison. That's what I meant to say. Okay, the other thing, uh, I, I think it's important to do your back, Brad, because, again, I don't want to have this type of posture. And this is just a great preventive one. Almost anybody, everybody should be doing this anyway. So yeah. I always throw this one in before walking or running. So all I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and take your hands, put them below your shoulders, and you're going to go ahead and start working up like this. I'm keeping my pelvis down on the floor or on the mat, or even if you did it in bed. Um, right yeah. So I'm not going like this. No push-ups. Yep. And, you know, I, I do like 20 of these. But I, 10 would probably be fine. Sure. Just yeah. it's a great preventative thing for yep. the low back. And uh, one of my friends, uh, he actually also does it over to the ball. Oh, you know, sure. Like the physio yep. ball. Yep. But he, he brings it up almost every time I see him. That was the best thing for my back. <laughs> yeah. he just yeah. Every time he, I, I talk to him. There are some people that will not be good. I'm one of them. If you've got spondylolisthesis or stenosis, or if you do it, it really hurts. And you may not know you have one of those, and that might be why it hurts. Right. Uh, so it should be. A, it should feel good. Generally, a problem with older people, spondylolisthesis. Is not, not. I should say spondylolisthesis. Stenosis. stenosis is more right. of a problem with, with 60 older and older. People, more of an arthritis type thing. Mm -hmm. Last thing, we're going to go ahead and have you chest your uh, stretch your chest. Chest your stretch. Chest, chest your stretch, <laughs> because. Same thing again. You want to have good posture when you're walking. Right. That's going to set the tone for the whole day. Mm -hmm. And it's going to, you know, if you have poor posture, then it's going to carry right into the day. And that leads to all sorts of problems. Right. And we're actually going to do a video on that, Brad. But um, we haven't yeah. already. Well, probably a million times. <laughs> but let's say we take a door, put a doorway right here. Yeah, you see it, Brad? The door, you yep. Borrow your imagination. We're going to have a door someday. Put your hands on each side of the door and just lean in. Now, you can also put your hands down here. And lean in. Should I, should I do yeah, it you here? can do the corner too. Or I put it up here and lean in. Brad's going to show into a corner. There we go. Just like this. So it's, it's up here. You can do it here, like Bob said, down here. And again, just like all the rest of these, you can hold it 15 to 30 seconds. Or you can go stretch on, stretch off. About 10 repetitions at that rate will be good. It's amazing how good that feels, Bob. Yeah, nice. these are all good stretches for you, whether you walk or not. Right. But I, I, I think it's important that you do warm up your body a little bit before you, you get out, and it's a, yep. a, a great habit to do. Yeah. So, anything else? Well, I don't know, Bob. Well, we could really <laughs> carry on about posture and walking. All right. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for? A broken heart. There you go, Bob. Well, we're working on it. And we'll never stop. Thanks a lot. Unless we get tired. <laughs>